Soon as Slater got the office, he hooked the guy right in the sleeper. Hooks him right in the car. And I mean, he puts the shoot sleeper on him right there. <laughs> we put this guy, they put this guy out. They put him to sleep. They took all of his cocaine, everything he oh. had. And we got in the van and we left. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Wrestling Time Machine by Sports Kita. You can find us right here on Sports Kita's Wrestle Binge and also anywhere you download your favorite podcast. I'm your host, Mac Davis, along with my co host, WWE Hall of Famer Teddy Long. Hey, Teddy. Hey, what's going on there, Mac? How you doing today? Hey, man, I'm doing great. And, uh, you know, normally we have Bill here, but Bill is on assignment right now. I believe Bill it. Uh, who? Bill who? That that Bill guy. You know the Bill? I, I've never liked a Bill. I, every time I saw a Bill, I always threw him in the trash. So, you know. <laughs> but I never paid mine. Yeah. <laughs> I know you didn't. <laughs> Actually, I heard that uh, he is on special assignment. He has uh, He's working on location with the uh, Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. So, I'm sure we'll have some great uh, stories from that. So. Wow, God, that great. Lucky for Bill. Jesus yeah, Christ, man. I, I'd rather be with Bill and have him here. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, thanks a lot. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll get Bill to come here on the show, and I'll go take Bill's spot with the girls. How about exactly. that? Exactly. <laughs> hey, uh, look, um, I want to mention, I, I, I don't know that many people have heard this story, and I want to start this off because I got some follow-up questions to a story uh, that you and I talked about on Road Trip After Hours last week. Mm-hmm. And that story uh, was the story you told me about Randy Savage, Dirty Dick Slater, and yourself uh, back in the early days of wrestling. Um, Teddy, can you tell that story? Because a lot of people who are watching this have not heard that story. And I want us to tell that story because i got some questions for you as we go along that I didn't <laughs> ask the other day. Well, the story was... Um... Back in the day, it was ever before I even had a job or, if you know, I was just trying to break into the business, just hanging around the TVS studios. But I had already got in. I mean, like I told my story, you know, at the beginning, when I first got in, I had a chance to meet Abdullah. And uh, I, I started going in the back with the boys because of Abdullah, because I was showing him around and stuff. And so then, like I said, they trusted me and I started going to the ring, taking jackets and coats and, you know, but to make a long story short, uh, I was. I met uh, Dirty Dick Slater. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of young people, don't, probably don't know who Slater was, but a lot oh, of yeah. us we know. Oh yeah. And uh, so it was Dick Slater, and this was and Randy Savage. Well, Randy was Randy Savage before he was ever. This was ever before they even thought about Macho Man. This is NWA. So uh, Randy Savage had a, I guess, might have been a 1960 van, a white van or something. I can't remember what it was. Surely a Ford. But anyway. Uh, one day that Randy and uh, Dick Slater, you know, we wanted to get some weed. So I knew this guy over in the West End part of Georgia and uh, where we could get the weed. At that time, you could go over and guys running up to the car. They got nickel bags, dime bags yeah. or whatever. So we ride over to this place and uh, the, to the spot where we get the weed from. So I see the guy. And so the guy sees me. He recognizes Savage then because everybody watched the old TBS back then. So uh, he... So he got in the car with us, and um, so, golly, he made the worst mistake in the world. He got in the car with us, and he gets in, and he says to Randy and 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 and, and Slater, he says, hey, guys, not only do I have the good weed, I've got the good cocaine, too. So he pulls out this big bag of cocaine, you know, and he shows, you know, to him. Well, I'm sitting in the... In the back, back there, I'm sitting uh, back. Uh, I think Savage is, yeah, Savage is in the front. So I'm sitting in the back, me and Slater. So the next thing I I know, I look now. I don't know this then. I know now that I see Savage give Slater the office. Okay. And now explain next, what that explain what that means, Teddy. Well, he nodded his head. Yeah. yeah. So when you know back in the, in the kayfabe days, you, some guys still kayfabe now, but like I said, when it was when it was really you know serious kayfabe. Well, we are. We, if we wanted to do something or had an opinion, we just nod our head. So we got the office. We knew he, we knew what the guy was saying. But anyway, so soon as Slater got the office, he hooked the guy right in the sleeper, hooks him right in the car, and I mean, he puts the shoot sleeper on him right there. We put this guy. They put this guy out. They put him to sleep. They took all of his cocaine, everything he oh. had, and we got in the van and we left. 
Okay. okay. That, that's now, a true story. <laughs> and for those of you who have not heard the story, again, we, we told the story originally on Road Trip After Hours, which you can find on YouTube as well. We drop it every Friday, Teddy and I. <laughs> but uh, Teddy, after that story, I actually got a couple of people who asked questions. And I'm like, you know, I should have asked that question. So I'm going to ask you now. First of all, you're in the car. You're taking them to somewhere where you know you can yeah. buy some weed. When they're putting the sleeper hold on this guy, what is going through your mind? Are you thinking, oh, shit, y'all have just screwed me bad now? I didn't think about them screwing me until I got away from there. It scared me to death at first when I yeah. see it, you know what I mean? Because I'm like, oh, it's, 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 you know, it's looking like a robbery to me. Yeah, <laughs> what <Okay>? is? <laughs> so, I, so the thing is, I could never go back over there. No. I never went back over there in many, many years. And one time I went through there and I think me and somebody, me and somebody, maybe it might've been JYD, I got rested. So we was riding and we was on that area or something and I was telling Dog the story about that. <laughs> I think that's the only time I ever, ever went back man, over man, there. Man, you're lucky you didn't get shot, killed. I mean, what could have happened? Well, nobody Ooh. knew it. Yeah. The guy jumped in the car by himself. He didn't have no people with him. Nobody knew it. Look, the uh, WWE Superstar Spectacular, or Spectacle, I'm sorry, uh, in India, which will be available on WWE Network, and in India on the official broadcast partner, which is Sony Sports Network. Uh, that'll be on Friday, September 8th, the first event in India since 2017. Tickets available at uh, bookmyshow.com. That's at bookmyshow.com. Dot com. Just want to throw that out there if you want to get a hold of that uh, pay-per-view or premium live event. And the rumor, uh, rumored superstars are going to include the world heavyweight champion Seth Rollins, women's world champion Rhea Ripley, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, Gunther, Jinder Mahal, Veer. Is that how you say his name? Veer? <laughs> the guy, I can't remember. I think that's how you say his name. Senga, uh, I hope I'm saying these names right, Drew McIntyre, Becky Lynch, Natalia, Matt Riddle, and more. There's no mention of the great Kali so far. Uh, and that's something we talked about last week. I mean, a big draw in India should be something that would be big and go over in India uh, with a star like him. Because in India, the Kali is like the Rock is here. Well, you got to understand this. You know, they've done that already with Kali. This ain't the first time they've been to India. So they've gave you know they 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 paid homage to him. So it it's, you can't just go over to India and every time and you got to think you got to rely on Kali cuz he's a big star over there. Yeah. You can't rely on that. That 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 just that doesn't doesn't get it. So you take your own homegrown talent, you know what I mean, there because these are the people that you're paying your money to each and every week, you know, to draw you some money. So let's leave Kali. They they know who Kali is, yeah. but they also know now need to know this young generation. These are the people that's going to make you money. And so that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't, you know, not wasting their time, but there's no reason to have colleagues. They don't really would, need it. Would you focus more on uh, people like Veer and... Um, yes. And uh, who am I thinking the other guy? I just said his name a second ago. Uh, well, and Matt Riller. Ginger Mahal. Guy, uh, Ginger Mahal, you know what I mean? See, what you have to understand this, you know, they, 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 they know that when they went over there and they put the world title on Ginger Mahal, well, they knew that this was the first time, well, maybe the second time, whatever, they're going into India. So yeah. in order to get that India crowd, you got to do something with one of the hometown boys. Ginger is from there. He's a hometown hero, so they're going to come. You know what I mean? You yeah. see what happens as soon as they come back out of India, they took it right off him. Let me ask you, you know, Jinder did get to uh, the championship and uh, was a champion, but he didn't seem to last too long. Why do you think that was, Teddy? Well, maybe he, you know, what he had maybe wasn't working. You know what I mean? I yeah. thought he was a great heel. In fact, I, I think too. what he's doing now, you know, with those two guys that he's managing now, I think yep. they're doing a hell of a job, man. I really like them. And I really believe that that's Ginger's you know, better role is to be a manager. You know, like I said, he wasn't a bad work in the ring, yeah. but he just, you know what I mean? Sometimes things just don't work. But with him coming out with that language and with the turban and all that, with these guys here, that's going to work for him. That's heat. And uh, I, I think, to me, I think he's in a better spot now. Very cool.